Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Me on the Sea. Benefits of a Filipino wife working. I want to know your thoughts on this because I think it can be a heated topic for some men. A lot of men I've heard that are interested in marrying a Filipino are saying, she ain't working, I'm not going to let her work. And uh, they probably say that because they don't trust her. Um, they think she will be convinced by a, um, a woman, Western liberal woman, to that she's made a mistake marrying her husband, maybe some younger guy, you know, sweet talks her um, into a sexual relationship. So they just say, you know what, we're just not going to do that. Don't want her to work. But I want you to consider how she very well might feel about working, and it's it's not bad. So hear me out. Please subscribe to Love Beyond the Sea. I married a Filipino back in 2015, and I want to help other people learn from our experience so they can have a long-lasting marriage, likely she will want to work in your country. Let's say it's America where my wife is, and she said from the start in the Philippines, she wants to come here and work. And uh, she wants to have a job, she wants to work hard, and she will work hard, and she has done exactly that. She's gotten many promotions. She works very, very hard. She's very smart. She learns fast, and I, she got a lot of potential out there. And I want to encourage that all that I can. Now, if your Filipina has a, um, a job in the Philippines, you might say, well, you know, we'd have more time to talk if you would, you know, not be working. And um, I know that that does make sense, but she might just say, why would I quit my job? <laughs> she likes her job. She, she likes the people. It gives her a sense of uh, responsibility. You might say, well, here, here's some money. I'll, I'll take care of whatever you're making. Well, she could see that as being a, a demeaning thing. She's working hard for that money. They don't make a lot of money. You know, let's say $10 a day would be a, a big wage in the Philippines. $10 a day. And I, well, I think everybody would take would take that. So she might feel, you know, I like the responsibility here. I like the people I work with. There's no reason for me to quit my job. I've been working hard to move up, and now I'm, I'm just not going to leave. Um, and maybe if you, you married her, bring her to your country, that might change things. So why does she want to work if she wants to work in the United States? She can make more money here, of course, for her family. Then she doesn't have to have you help her family and somebody's helping the family or she's not going to be there. So she can help more if she's making her own money. She wants to, to have her own things, her own clothes, her own, I don't know, purses. She wants to have her own car in all likelihood. She's going to have to learn to drive and have a car. And my wife has paid off her car now. It took four years i think i made the down payment and then she paid like 650 a month for four years to get that paid off and uh, hopefully you won't have a car payment for a long long time but that's her money and she's earning it she's also helping helping us out and will continue to help us out even more here in the states working that will help her improve her language skills for sure and it'll help her assimilate into your country overall she'll probably improve some people skills you'll have to get together and, and work with some frustrating people but and and but i think that'll be good for her it'll help her skills the most important thing benefit i think of a filipino working in your country would be this especially if you have an age gap and you never know what can happen but if you're gone she needs to know how things are done she's going to need to know how to pay bills and make money understand what taxes are hopefully have a financial person to talk to um she's just gonna have to know how things work how a will works and for example if she's not working and, and you don't have enough money for her to live when she has to work well then she has to go back maybe she never planned on going back to the philippines a lot of them do when her husband dies but if uh, she sticks around she's gonna have to learn how did you pay the bills how did you do this online banking what is this for um, do I need to do this? There's some logistical things that she's going to have to know. So I know my wife will be well trained and, um, you know, she chooses to stay here for a while. Um, that's fine. She'll, she'll know what to do. She'll be competent in that. 
and she may just very well go back to the Philippines anyway. So those are some benefits of Philippine working in your country. I don't think it means that she's going to disappear and run away with some guy, um, or she's going to become a, a workaholic, or she's going to pick up uh, bad habits. Hopefully the woman you marry understands people she can trust and has some wisdom about her and some character about her and isn't going to be you know pulled down by some you know western liberal women so those are my thoughts let me know yours on this video here today on love beyond the sea